Hang on, hang on. Right, when is the best time to post on YouTube? Let's take a look. What's happening YouTubers? My name is Rob, welcome back to vidIQ. If this is your first time here, we are the YouTube service that aims to help you get more views in less time through our Chrome extension. There's a link in the description if you want to download it. And if you haven't already, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you get new alerts for our content whenever we publish new videos. Today we're looking at the best time to post your videos to YouTube, because obviously you might have a convenient time to post them, but is that necessarily the most convenient time for your global audience to watch those videos? Let's take a look at the numbers, show you some tools and give you some tips. Before you think about exactly when you want to set your video live on YouTube, consider first how long it takes to upload your video and put all the bits and pieces together like tags, titles, descriptions, cards, end screens and so on. YouTube also needs time to process a video, especially if it's in 4K resolution. So a conservative estimate would be to start the video upload process one hour before you want it to go live. Now time for a brief geography lesson. If we ignore YouTube data for a second, when might be the best time to post a video for the English speaking world? Well, if I live in San Francisco and post at 9am, that means it's noon in New York and 5pm in London. Unfortunately, it's the middle of the night in Australia, so you're never going to satisfy everyone. Now let's take YouTube data into consideration. On the analytics page for either watch time or views, there is a globe icon which will turn your graph into a map of the world and show you where your views come from. In this example, it's clear to see the US provides a large proportion of the minutes watched, with the UK coming a distant second. Furthermore, if you use the geography filter below the map, you can get total percentages of watch time for or any given country. So now you know which country provides you with the biggest YouTube audience. It gives you a broad time frame of when to post your videos, but surely we can do better than that? Yes. Yes we can. Real-time analytics is your next port of call, where there is a filter that again allows you to sort by geography. Not only will this sort views for all your videos on your channel into location for the last 48 hours, but it will tell you exactly how many views you get at what time of the day. Simply mouse over the graph to reveal the time and the exact number of views. This data tells me that as well as getting most channel views from the US, peak activity seems to be in the early evening. So now we know where your videos are being watched and at what time, at least over the last 48 hours. But can we do any better than that? I'm glad you asked. Yes. Yes we can. VidIQ Pro users can take advantage of the best time to post tool. It's accessed through the analytics or subscriber insights page of our web applications available from our Chrome extension button. This tool tracks your subscribers activities such as when they like videos, post comments and subscribe to other channels. It does this 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, meaning it can show you activity hotspots and suggest an exact time of day to post your video. So you have three data points to look at, YouTube location analytics, YouTube real-time analytics and vidIQ's best time to post tool. These are all, as we've said before, data-driven decisions. YouTube and vidIQ will show you the numbers, you just need to know how to use them. We've already done a couple of videos on the subject of data-driven decisions, so check them out in the cards on screen now. As for vidIQ homework, well, let's put these tips into practice. Find out when the best time to post is for you and let us know in the comments below. And remember this, you're there to serve your audience. Do everything in your power to make that happen as easily as possible. That's it for this video. Enjoy the rest of your video making day. Bye for now. Hey, vidIQ, can we do sub for sub? No. No, I can't.